Malawi is late Bosta Mwai Kumwenda had a very busy schedule over the festive period, visiting various places across the country to assist the needy. Kumwenda says the opportunity to ask for material support from some people in New Zealand where she plays her professional netball. After donating assorted items in Mzimba where she comes from, Mwai Kumwenda travelled down to the southern part of Malawi to perform a similar noble duty of reaching out to the less privileged. Just four days before Christmas, the netball star drove to the lower Shire to distribute assorted items at Chikwawa Hospital. Uh, Before fulfilling her aim of the visit, Mwaikumenda held a brief meeting with hospital authorities where she explained the background of her mission. Hey, hello. 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 After distributing the items, the beneficiaries were very happy and thanked the people of New Zealand through my Kumwenda for their gesture. I did not have the money to buy such kind of stuff, but now I have them. Thanks to the people who have given me this. I have been given soap, baby's toys and clothes. They have spent money on these items, which will help me a lot. The materials given will assist me in many ways, and I thank the people who have provided them. God should bless them. My baby was admitted to Chikwawa Hospital on 22nd December. But today, some people have come to donate to the baby's ward, and we are very thankful. We thank the people of New Zealand for their support. We are very grateful for this uh, donation because it has uh, come at the right time where, uh, you know, this is the Christmas time. Uh, others come to the hospital when they are not ready, but with the donation which they have received, they will be able to... Uh, to use it for, uh, in the hospitals, even those who are just coming without anything. That means it's uh, going to help them a lot. Yeah, we're really very grateful for that. Uh, usually, like uh, in terms of uh, some other women, you know, we can, uh, come 
coming from uh, far areas of which uh, others just start when they're in labor, when they're not ready. So they just come without anything else. But with these, those who are just coming, those who have uh, nothing, that means they'll be able to use that and caring for their kids. We are very thankful for that, especially for choosing uh, Chikwawa. It's uh, really uh, an honor that uh, she made it to come uh, to here because um, from Chikwawa, it's uh, something we don't take it for granted that she can think of that there is uh, this hospital, Chikwawa, that she, she can donate. Uh, from where the donation is coming from, we're just thanking them for that. Next time, if there, is, uh, if there can be this chance, uh, it's also welcome to come to Chikwawa. Tomorrow you come and I say uh, thank her for coming to Chikwawa. It's been uh, grateful. We've uh, liked the donation. Uh, we thank her so much. Uh, next time she should remember Chikwawa as well. First of all, let me thank New Zealand people for the support, for the support and donation. Here it's like a district because I can see here we need the people. So that's why I choose here because most of the times people, they just go like around the city. It's not like blunt tire, that's the way I choose because it's like near the village, so that's why I choose to donate in the village. Uh, this donation comes from New Zealand Christchurch, and I think New Zealand Christchurch because they are so lovely and so friendly. I just love New Zealand because they are so lovely people. Yeah. They treat you well? Yeah, they treat me well to help these Malawian people, mm -hmm. so I just wanted to thank them. Do you enjoy native in New Zealand? Yeah, I enjoy it. It's lovely people, yeah, so I'm enjoying. I'm staying good life. Most people, when they get materials from outside the country to be distributed to orphans or the less privileged, they take them to be theirs. But Mwaigumwenda has not done that. Instead, she has given the materials to the needy, which is recommendable. Mwai has set a very good example to those with money and materials to reach out to the needy. Others should emulate what she has done. Mwai has not chosen one area where she lives to distribute the items, but she has selected areas across the country. The following day, the netball star was on the road again, driving to the north of Blanta district. Again, she chose to visit two rural areas in Rirangwe. At her first stopover, she distributed various items that included clothes to different age groups, as well as soap and baby's materials. She also took time to demonstrate on how some of the items work. <laughs> Mazone, <laughs> 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 Monet, <laughs> Hmm. 
I am thanking my Kumwenda for what she has done. It is not easy to have such a kind heart. I am very glad that Mwai has considered us old people. She should continue to do this, not only to us, but also to other needy old people. I was very glad when Mwai visited us and asked us if in our village we have orphans and old people who need help. I was so glad to hear this good news and I rushed to the village headman to brief him and he was equally glad. The people of Chisonga village are very happy and thank Kumwenda and the people of New Zealand for the materials. The old people are the ones keeping the orphans. Her final destination was a rural primary school in Irirangwe. She was touched to see the classrooms that standard two to five pupils use for learning. The people sit on the floor and the situation becomes worse during rainy season. She then donated desks to the school to be used by those who sit on the floor. Apart from the desks, the Netable staff also donated books to the school to be used by teachers and pupils during their free time. The headmaster of the primary school together with village headwoman thanked Kumwenda for the kind gesture which they said has come at the right time. We are very happy. The school is going to benefit a lot, more especially the learners are going to read, to use the books during their free time. The 
basics will try also to help the learners to have a place where to sit when they are learning. I think the school books can help us also apart from the basics. I want to thank him why, because he has brought these things through the, uh, the, the New, New Zealand people. And if those New Zealand people continue to help us through Mwai, we are going to benefit a lot. Bonda Village is very appreciative for what Mwai has done. Most of our primary pupils are sitting on the floor, but the desk donation will ease the pressure of sitting on the floor. God should bless Mwai and the people of New Zealand, for we have a lot of orphans and those requiring help. God should bless and guide her in whatever she does where she is going so that next time she shall do the same to us. Well done, my Kumenda, for looking back to where you have come from and for making a difference. Come